breaking news welcome to today's headlines ipop combat drone seized in himo ipop combat drone seized in himo to my dear listeners From wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. A newly acquired combat drone imported for use on innocent citizens in the southeast by the Eastern Security Network, ESN. The paramilitary organization of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has been intercepted and seized by security operatives in Imo State. The combat drone, which was modeled like agricultural equipment, was said to have been brought in from China and primed to be used by IPOB when the security agencies swooped on them and recovered the drone. A source who was involved in the operations told Leadership Weekend that the drone was just one of many which have already been ordered by the group from different parts of the world in a bid to launch a full-blown war on innocent citizens. The source who did not want his name in print said the outlawed group had devised a more daring method of attack on citizens. He hinted that the security agencies also recovered two 25 pieces of dynamite and other dangerous explosives in Amaibu, a Benito community in also local government area. As part of the new strategies, IPOB now uses landmines to protect their camps in Himo and Anambra State in order to prevent security agencies from attacking them. They have also devised the means of using telecom masks to monitor their environment by mounting cameras on the mask where they monitor the city and launch attack on any part of the city at will, the source said. He added that the outlawed group in recent times has launched dangerous attacks on the people in the southeast, killing and maiming innocent people. A security expert E.K. E.K. While speaking on the discoveries, said it was time the state and federal government joined hands to address the rising IPOB and ESN criminal profile. He called for a decisive action against the group before they turn into something more dangerous as it is already. Meanwhile, the leadership of IPOB has been torn apart due to Lin fighting for the control of funds. Leadership weakened Lent from a reliable source close to the group that after the arrest and detention of Unam Dikano, Simon Ekwa, the silver acclaimed disciple of IPOB, has assumed control of the IPOB funds stashed all over the world. The source said one of the accounts of the group in Germany with about $700,000 is currently causing problem. As Ekpal is trying to take control of the account against the supporters of Kano who still believe he is the leader of IPOL. Ekpal who had been at the forefront of the current attacks in the southeast just ended the five-day seat at home order in the southeast 
which totally crippled activities of the area. The factional leader declared the completion of the five-day seat at home, other in a video uploaded to YouTube on Wednesday night, calling it historic and successful for Biafra land. Ekpa further declared in the video that the Southeast area will not host the 2023 elections, saying it is a sacrifice that the people of Biafra must make. Meanwhile, the police in Imo State have declared a manhunt for the gunmen behind the gruesome killing of the Labour Party candidate for Onuimo State constituency Christopher Elohu. Elohu was gunned down by gunmen early yesterday in his country home. The gunman also set his country home ablaze and destroyed several properties. A source who pleaded anonymity said the gunman also visited the houses of other politicians in the area but did not meet them at home. Spokesman of the state police command, Michael Abatam told our correspondents that on the orders of the state commissioner of police, Mohammed Ahmed Badi, they had commenced investigations into the killing. A newly acquired combat drone imported for use on innocent citizens in the southeast by the Eastern Security Network ESN, the paramilitary organization of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has been intercepted and seized by security operatives in Himo State. The combat drone, which was modeled like agricultural equipment, was said to have been brought in from China and primed to be used by Hypob when the security agency swooped on them and recovered the drone. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned.